Hi everyone! So I'm back and I'm actually very excited today because I stopped by Sephora yesterday and I have finally picked up the Beauty Blender. I have heard so many great reviews on this on YouTube and just, you know, on blogs. And, you know, I've seen this on Sephora and definitely seen all their reviews. And I thought it's about time I get my own. So I finally have picked up my own. I got, let's see, the Beauty Blender at Sephora, I believe was, it's $19.95 at Sephora, but depending where you live, there's going to be an, an applicable tax. So I had to, I paid a little over some like 20, like $21, something like that. So, I mean, for one, Sponge, I mean, I I didn't realize how tiny the sponge was going to be at first, so, I mean, looking at it, I was like, 20 bucks for a sponge, it better live up to what it everyone's been raving about, and I think it will, so that's what this, what this video is actually going to be on, so I'm going to just open up this, and I'm going to be using this Beauty Blender to see how it applies, oh, actually, oh, wow. I hadn't taken it out of the package yet. This is, I just took it out of the package. It's very soft. It feels like... I'm not really sure what it feels like, but it's not like any kind of other sponge. It's very soft. It feels very plush, almost kind of like a, like a kid's toy. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to get this wet, and I actually have a little cup of water here. So I'm just gonna get this wet. I don't really, I'm not sure how much you're supposed to really get this wet, so I kind of just dip it in there real quick. But supposedly it's gonna inflate to about two times its size. I think that's what the package said. Not sure. So it's just a little damp right now. What I was actually hoping to use this on with the Wolf Face Art in FX. So I have three different colors here. This one, which I think is going to be too late for today, I think, is color 012. This one here is 014. And this one is 015. So I might have to use a mixture of these two in order to get the right shade. Alright, so um, I'm going to start off with the lighter color first, just in case. Now this I believe I've talked about in my IMATS New York 2013 haul. This is actually a wax-based product, and this is a water-activated um, product as well. So this actually is, this itself is actually 30 grams of product right here. So it's definitely plenty of product for me to use. Um, I was going to say this is probably going to be good for one of those a non-rainy day. So let's get started. I'm going to have my beauty blender here. Um, I guess, it, yeah, it definitely has puffed up a little bit. Then I'm going to take a mirror and then I'll take the product. I guess just kind of wipe it on there. Not sure how much I'm really supposed to be taking, but we'll see. Just kind of get a pretty good amount on there. Now my eyes, and I've already patted my face, so I'm just going to, whoops, just going to plop this on. See how this goes. I think this color is going to be a little white. Not sure if I picked up enough product. I'm not totally sure if I'm doing this right either. I definitely am going to need the darker color for sure. This is a bit light. So I'm just going to put that away. So then now I'm just going to take the 015. It's a little darker. Summertime where I am right now, so I've definitely gotten a little darker, which is totally normal, I guess. So, 
Yeah, that seems to be a much better color for me, I think. I think it's showing up a little light in the camera. Now, I haven't really worked a lot with wax-based like foundations. It seems like it's easier to apply like rolling on. So, I'm just going to continue with that. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit more on my sponge and a little more. It seems that when I apply the wax base, that it, it's lighter than it appears to be until it sets in. So it's lighter on application. Hmm. Well, okay. So, I look so not the right color in camera right now. I look really light. It's probably a little bit too light for me. What do you think? <laughs> okay. So, yes, I know. My face, it, it's still drying, but this does seem to be maybe a little too light for me. I did get this at IMAX. So I was definitely paler, a little bit more paler than I am now. So I, I know this definitely seems quite a bit lighter than what I really am. But let's go on to more of the review of the sponge. I think that this sponge actually does fairly a fairly good job in applying wax this wax-based product. I actually tried applying this previously with a different uh sponge like applicator and it turned out very terrible it was a cheap sponge it was, it was just cheap in general so i was hoping that this beauty blender would be able to apply this a little bit more evenly without line streaks odd parts on my face where part of it wouldn't be blended in very well and the other parts would be very streaky so this i would say does a very amazing job i'm so glad i pick this up. It seems like it would be a very good product for more wax-based kind of products. Um, I think I'd have to get used to this due to the fact that I would have to figure out how much water I really need to kind of apply to the sponge. It definitely did get bigger as I, you know, placed it in the water. I had to actually place this in the water a few times just to see, but then the last time I put it, I actually wrung it out. And this definitely got bigger, and it seemed to kind of blend the, the wax um, foundation on much, much easier. At first, I was a little, you know, I wasn't sure. I was almost disappointed because I thought I wasn't going to be able to roll on the product easy, as easy as I thought I was going to be. I was like, oh, no, is this that cheap sponge that I used previously? Is that happening all over again? So... Although the foundation is light, yes, I should have known, but um, these colors should be much better for me during late fall, winter, very early spring. So I would definitely say, I would definitely give the Beauty Blender maybe an 8 or 9 with wax-based products. I will have to try this with powder and with liquids and creams which I'm very excited to try out, but so far, I think this was a good purchase. I think it was worth its money. It blended the wax-based product very well, which actually, I think wax-based products are even harder to apply than regular foundations. So this having being able to blend out the wax-based product very well is actually, in my opinion, a great, great, great thing. So that's my, re my little review for the beauty blender so if you haven't picked this up yet I would definitely go pick it up I will be using this more in tutorials and videos coming up I know I haven't done too many tutorials lately but more are to come I know I've in the past have done so many more tutorials than I've done reviews so I'm trying to put in some reviews and first impressions videos like this if you like this sort of video please please let me know in the comment section I would love to hear your feedback give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video or thumbs down if you don't like these kind of videos. The more feedback, the better. 
I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.